What is up, guys? Welcome on back to uh, Starfield. This is going to be, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, episode 13. So I'm still recovering from being sick a few days ago. I was just, I was really bad. So going to be coughing and things like that every once in a while. Please ignore it. But uh, anyway, <coughs> there we go. I fucking knew it. Um, welcome on back to Starfield. It's going to be episode 13. Now, the last episode, um, I did kind of try to end on a funny, funny note. Because what, what ultimately happened was I was starting the next mission. I was going to put the next mission on. I was going to make that, that, that video a longer mission or a longer video um, just to finish the whole entire kind of kind of little mission I was doing. But um, again, my um, my PC ran out of space for the um, my memory ran out of space for recording. And I have a lot of memory. It's not like I have a little bit of memory. But so what's going on with these with, with my memory issues is that, you know, YouTube only uploads so fast. They only they only upload their videos or you, you can only upload so fast. It takes eight hours to upload a goddamn video so um what's happening is you start getting a little bit of backlog so um normally when i record a video let's say it's a, let's say it's an hour long video that video ultimately when i when i go to um the original cut of that video the recording is about an hour 10 hour and 20 minutes long i always cut about 10 15 minutes of the video out um, Starfield with the shitty UI and the confusing, I'm just confused playing the game. I don't know if it's just me, maybe I'm retarded, I don't, I don't fucking know. But um, these, 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 uh, these videos are two and a half, three hours long, so that's what's happening. I'm, I've got as many videos as I normally have on there, and I usually have, have plenty of, my, <laughs> of space, space. But these videos are they're just way longer than than than, uh, than a normal video, so I think that's it's kind of catching up to me. So I'll get better with that. But anyway, so that's what happened. So what you ultimately missed was we we had to start flying back to the key to go be, to go meet Delgado. And um, right when you get to Delgado, there's um, there's two ships like attacking the key, so you have to kind of kill the two, sh shoot down the two ships, and then dock. So I think when we start here, it's going to be at, at where we docked. So all you really missed was just me kind of fast traveling to the key and um, and then shooting down those two ships. It's not much at all. It's not much at all. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy everything. Uh, welcome to the channel if you're here for the first time and uh, let, let's get to it. All right, don't stand there looking stupid. Everything's going to hell and Delgado needs you in operations. Yeah? Well... If we survive, I'll pat you on the back later. Ikande is throwing everything he's got at us, but we're planning I'm gonna be on honest. his sorry <laughs> This character, Nabia, I've never seen a more fucking useless keep asshole character in my life. While the vigilance puts its like, like she, on she us. puts all this pressure and, and shit on you. I've never seen her do a motherfucking thing, ever. She just sits there with her sassy shit attitude. Even the fucking, like, the white bitch called her out. She's like, well, I'm going to do all the work and you're going to get drunk. She's like, well, that's the fucking perks of being the boss. And it's like, the second I can kill her, I'm fucking kill that dumb bitch. She's an idiot. All right, so what we're going to have to do is I'm going to fix or repair my ship. When I was um, so let's find the, uh, yeah, I can't fucking stand Nevia or whatever the fucker shit attitude name is. But, um, she's literally done nothing. She's a useless character. But let's go repair the ship. And I need to get some, um, some supplies. I want to get some ship repair stuff. I don't have a lot of that. And maybe some bullets and I don't know like if that, heard, so. but Sis Def's decided to pay us a little visit. This is it. Where is she at? I don't know where she is. There she is. Ship services. Oh, I can't. That's my computer. Can we do it from here? No, okay. Yeah, I want I wanna talk to Jasmine. I'd like to speak with Jasmine. On deck for this one. She might be up here though. Alright. Let's make sure the only blood in the water is theirs. Is that it? That is Grix's legacy? Believe it's right here. Jazz, fire up the analyzer. Can you confirm? It's true. You were right all along, Dell. You know, there were moments, doubts. I almost stopped believing it was real, that I was chasing ghosts. But then came that day on Subaroff, and everything changed. And now here it is. 
Grix's legacy, our future. Of that, there can be no doubt. This day will go down in history, and so will you. But it's not over yet. Now, only one thing stands in our way. The Vigilance. Speak of the devil. Jazz, what is the situation? Looks like Ikande is starting to move. Typical sea stiff. The sharks are so bloodthirsty, they won't even give us time to bask in the moment. Ikande doesn't give a damn. He doesn't need the legacy. He's just terrified what we'll do with all the credits. That is, if we survive this encounter and get to spend them. Those first few Sistef ships were only scouts, trying to confuse us and probe our defenses. Which means they're playing it smart. They're gonna try to take out our defensive batteries before bringing in their big guns. The batteries are the only thing we have with enough electromagnetic firepower to punch through the Vigilance's heart and shielding. We lose those batteries, we lose everything. Standard weapons don't stand a chance against the Vigilance's shields. The batteries are massive versions of the EM weapons you'd mount on your ship. You know, designed to overload enemy shield generators. A direct hit from all three is guaranteed to bring that beast's shields down so you can take out its engines. Well, of course they are. They know we have the prize. But they still have the Vigilance. And that makes him dangerous. Jazz, lay the plan out for us. We're gonna hold the fort here while you hop back into your bird and head for those defensive batteries. For optimal firing coverage, we're keeping them far from the key and each other. So you'll have to jump to each one individually. You see any Sistef ships get within pissing distance of the batteries? You take them out. In the meantime, we'll secure Krix's legacy here and have Shinya begin cracking the encryption right away. This isn't some kind of trick, and I don't play around. I could have killed you the moment you stepped onto my station and taken that data core out. What of the fuck is he talking about? Receiving awesome the is going to be better here. The only thing that is convincing <laughs> the fleet's captains that it's worth risking their own lives. Why does this guy constantly threaten me when I'm doing shit for him? Hey, he just, if it's any help, you can. Like in reality, I would just turn around and walk away from him. I would just tell him to go fuck himself. Hey, and then, walk away. Yes. Once the batteries are online, we will start our attack of the vigilance. We'll tear it's like, yeah, here you go, your life's work, I just did for you, and it's like, ah, oh, if you knees. fuck with me, I'm gonna kill you. What? Then you have your orders. Oh, and one last thing before you go. In preparation for the attack, Ikande arrested some of our people. While you're aboard the Vigilance, you might want to spring them from the brig. All right, that's it. If you have any questions, now's the time. Otherwise, good luck. What did you need, Hatshot? Nope, just keeps this deaf from blowing the things to bits. I'm already working on remote connecting to them, but there's still a hell of a lot I need to secure the uplinks and charge them for firing. Buy me as much time as you can and watch yourself out there. Like, she should be the second in command. I don't know why this fucking dumb sassy bitch is second in command of this guy. In order to have maximum coverage for any possible approach to the key, we've moved the batteries from their original positions. They're in orbit around Suvorov, but we shift their track from time to time to keep the enemy guessing. Pretty smart, huh? Yep, they were part of the station's original design. The UC built them to cover the lock, but they didn't even have a chance to fire them way back when Crick stirred up that riot. Since we're now using them to target the Vigilance, we're basically turning their own weapon against them. If you left five minutes ago, they'd still have you beat. Not gonna sugarcoat it, it's likely all three batteries will be offline by the time you get there. But those things are resilient. Just clear any Sysdef ships and I can get them back online. You just leave that to me. I've seen worse. We'll get right on it. And I need your cat.
Okay, so what I'd like to do is go uh, grab some like aids and like aids. I want some aids, <laughs> like aid items, and you know I really want the ship repair stuff because it looks. I feel like we're gonna be getting into a ship fight here, like a ship battles. Uh, the deep end. This never learns. Hey. Tactical gear. What is this? And now. Hey. Sure, I got something. Is. Tell me you know exactly what me. This better be worth it. You gotta be out of six ship parts. Okay, cool. Alright, let's buy all of those here. Uh, let's buy all those. Yogurt. Don't forget to save some creds for armor too. Oh, bye. The only clothes you Ah, uh, my prices may be high, but oh, we can talk about they whatever are. you want. Of course they're fucking high. Big fucking surprise! You're selling high, sh high price shit. Don't miss me too much. Oh, yeah, no, I'm good. This the sassy ass attitude on this fucking pirate ship is annoying. Alright, um.
shit on this part. heals against this asshole. This is so fucking annoying. What is in my face? Oh shit! Don't waste your 
make sure we get those prisoners too. Fuck yes. <laughs> oh my god, yes! I think I just fucking came in my pants. these people out. Jesus Christ, yes.
just like old times. It's good to be back. Let me tell you, it's funny. I, uh, I actually... To get through that other flying mission, I put the fucking difficulty on, like, very easy. And it's like, this is so much more fun just fucking blasting through everything. But I'm gonna stick it back where it was, but... Uh, <laughs> I put that shit on easy and I'm just smoking. Especially with this new gun I got, I'm just smoking through the mission. You drinking too much grog of the Nova. I'm talking about trading shuffleboard and canasta games on a Starliner 4. Spilling blood and making credits with the fleet. Thanks to you. If you think that compliment is gonna get you out of paying me my cut of Frix's legacy, then you're gonna be in for a surprise when we get back to the key. Anyway, I'll deal with these prisoners. Go on, go on. You work your magic. There's a box somewhere I could pick. Where the fuck was it? Was it in here?
somewhere else. Our FedEx failure is a forward weapons bay. This is fun playing like this. Not being all stressed out and shit and fucking you guys fucking pissing me off enough. Where was that box? There's a box in here, wasn't there? I thought there was a box in here that I could have opened up or gone through. What was it at? Over here? That was a big one. Where the fuck was it? I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, whatever. I'm not that worried about it. Section is just a you take the lead. Shut the fuck up, Someone bitch. So like seriously. Does the UC really think sis death scares us? Fucking bitch is annoying. She's so goddamn annoying. Always like it. I don't have any heals? Where the fuck do my heals go? I'll look at that later, but hold on.
here. Hurry. Hey, there you are. This is a far cry from enforcing debts in Sidonia, am I right? Seriously? Oh, come on. Don't tell me you've forgotten about the guy that single-handedly got you into the fleet. If it wasn't for me, Secondary you'd still be trying to sell that crate of Aurora Switching back on Sidonia. Damn right, it's good to see. So, section ahead's a bit tricky. Comchatter says Sisdef's about to hit us with a squad of heavily armed troops. I've hacked all their bots and turrets to give us some backup. Or if you want to move fast, I can find you a way around instead. How you want to play this? No problem. You just focus on the door at the end of the hall. I'll keep everything else locked down.
that there is no way I'm going to allow the Vigilance to fall into the hands of the Crimson Fleet. Why are you even bothering to talk? We should drop this asshole right now! Lower your weapon, Jillian. Are you out of your mind? Why? It would be pointless. I have activated the Vigilance's self-destruct. It won't be long before this ship and everyone who remains aboard are going to be incinerated. Long enough to allow me to talk to you before we all die. Or what? You will kill me? You have already done that. The destruction of this vessel and the deaths of everyone aboard falls on your shoulders. Whatever caused you to side with these lawless pirates, I hope it was worth it. Such an obvious answer. I'm honestly surprised. It amazes me that despite how much you have seen people suffer for the sake of wealth, you still chose it as your primary motivation. In light of what's about to happen to us, I suppose it doesn't matter. And why would I do that? If what you say is true, that's a big if. Perhaps escalating this is not the answer. You may be right. Someday you will die. But a martyr lives forever. Damn pirates. You win. I have cancelled the self destruct. You won't have any resistance from myself or Lieutenant Doft. Commander, I lost some good friends today, so no tricks. Fall out of line, I put one in your head. I don't care about my life. I just want assurances that my crew will be spared. You're breaking my heart. Oh, yeah. You're real tough with unarmed prisoners, Mora. Jillian, please. This is not the time or the place. Yeah. Listen to your boss, Jillian. And keep your mouth shut. Now move! Both of you, now!
Souvenir you got there, pirate. What about Why just take it to those sister clouds, Rook? I picked up some crabs myself. I think I got uh, somebody's toothbrush. That is disgusting. What Delgado? Yeah! yeah! You son of a bitch! You did it! You actually pulled it off. Didn't I tell you, Dale? I told you there was something different about this Rook. Oh my god, Nave, you're so full of shit. Yeah, you're a fucking stupid asshole. I just call it like I see it, Jazz. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I, I seem to remember your rant about that lousy rook and how you were gonna off that loser and take their ship. No? Shut up, Jazz. Both of you, cut the crap and let me talk. All right, look, I'm terrible at this crap, so I'm going to spare all of us the stupid speeches and make this short. You're damn right it is, but let me get this off my mind. When I took over around here, things were looking grim. We were hanging on by a thread. The only thing that kept the fleet intact was the promise that I'd find Crix's legacy and put us back on top. At the time, I was full of shit. I didn't know how the hell I was gonna make that happen. And as the years passed, my words started to wear. We lost a lot of good people because they thought Dale was chasing ghosts. She's right. That thread I was talking about, it frayed. Badly. But when you found that recording on Suvorov, the hunt reignited. You gave us the courage we needed to hold fast. Now that his legacy is where it belongs, we can become the pirates Cricks always meant us to be. Thanks to you. Oh yeah? Well, since you think everyone around here helps so much, I'll just give them all a piece of your cut. <gasps> Dibs on the comp spike! You would go for that garbage. Me? I only want the cash. All right, let's get down to business. You want your money, and you're going to get it. A lot of it. See, now you starting to sound like me. Next thing I know, you'll be trying on my clothes. Won't look as good in them, though. No, I fucking won't be. Uh, you better I'm not, not weird. be flirting, because I might get jealous. Yeah, Jess, okay, me and you, baby, okay, let's go. Okay, let's get this done. Before you head out and get drunk at the Nova, I want you to remember one thing. The fleet always comes first. There are still jobs to run, things to steal, and places to wreck. So celebrate, get wasted, then get back out there and make us some money. Yeah! And the God damn it, I got 250,000 credits for that. Yes. All right, let's 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 go through our shit and then we'll try to bang Jazz. All right, uh, do I need booster pack? No, I don't have any science. Uh, oh, I'm gonna need an uh, upgrade. All right, so, um, social, let's, let's do a science, maybe. Should we fill up tech? Let's do that. Utilize boost tanks. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. Now that we've got the legacy, I might work on a few personal projects. Oh, I have tons of thoughts. Forget the legacy. That's my prize. I want to pry that thing open right now and start tinkering. But Delgado might want to keep it intact to use wanna as a wish. Want to pry your thing open and start tinkering? I told him if I break it, I'll just build him a new one. It's not like we don't have the money. Neva's mine, so don't be getting any ideas. She may be a little rough around the edges, but she's just looking out for her own. There's no one better to have your back. 
<laughs> Truth is, the fleet rescued me. Of course, I wouldn't have needed rescuing if they hadn't blown up the ship I was working on. Delgado plucked me out of space and brought me to the key. I took one look at the place and was compelled to work. Soon after, he offered me a permanent spot with the fleet. I've got plenty of goodies to choose from. I don't know if I should buy a ship, to be honest. I have, I have 270,000 credits. I can make a badass ship, though. I can make a fucking badass ship. Let me hold off on that for now. All right. Um. When you joined up, things were bad. Let's give well, Neva a chance. Come on. I really have to spell this out for you. A child would understand. No engineering means no grab drive. No grab drive means no grab jump. This ship isn't going anywhere. Get it? Or do I need to draw you a diagram? Oh, back up there a second. I seem to remember you approaching me about joining the Crimson Fleet. You didn't think it was gonna be easy, did you? All right, enough of this bullshit. Go on ahead and give Ikande my regards. I bet he can't wait to see you. All right, guys, I, I saw something on my uh, Instagram here, and uh, they're saying if you come down here, you can get a really good spacesuit somewhere. It's on a mannequin. It's like a glass container here. It's the well? No, it's not the well, is it? I think it's in the lodge. I think it's downstairs, though. There we go. So you just you point your cursor just above the uh, thing, and you can get this all these items. These are like a, like a really good, these are really good items here. So that's just to show you something real quick. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. See you later.